What's up people, it's Sam here and welcome to today's video. It is Vivid Voltage. We finally got our hands on a Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer Box and a Booster Box. So this is Elite Trainer Box, very cool. I'm sure you guys have seen pictures of this already, but this is the first time I've actually got one. So I am going to appreciate this, especially the artwork, the hand-drawn Pikachu there, the tail, literally going sky high. Literally hand-drawn as well, it looks like, very cool. Um, and I'm loving the red there. And then that's what you get with it. Just pause the video, guys, if you want to see what it comes with. Um, but in a nutshell, it is eight booster packs and a chunky two sleeves, which is the same artwork as the Elite Trainer box. And you've got the booster box, which I'm sure you guys know what it looks like as well, but it's just all beetle on the side. You've got the chunky two there that we're still looking for. Um, and you've got the Celebi with the amazing artwork there. And there's 36 packs in that. So in total, we will be going through 44 packs in total in this video, guys. I can't wait to get into it. Before we do, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you do enjoy it. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel to get notifications on future videos. And without further ado, let's get these open. So there's everything open, guys. There's the booster box. There's the Elite Trainer box, which looks so cool. You know what's inside, guys. It's just a dice um, in the sleeves. I've put the eight booster packs out of there. Um, but I really like... The quality of this booster box. Uh, sorry, this uh, Elite Trainer box is so cool. Very, very nice indeed. You also get the uh, book with it as well, and it just goes through some of the stuff that you can get with it. Um, and the card set list as well, and the ones that we're interested in are the secret rares at the back. That chunky chew that looks amazing there. And then you've also got these two, Obstagoon and Urunguru, which actually reminds me of King Louie from the Jungle Book. Really, I don't, I don't know why um, but it does, but yeah, just gives you a quick uh, overview. But So yeah, let's get these open, guys, and see what we can pull. Right, so let's get this started straight away, guys. We'll start off with the ETB pack first, just because I like to see what I'm going to get from the ETB and what, what we're going to get from the uh, booster box. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit weird like that, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people like doing it that way, actually. Anyway, we start with Crocorock, League Staff, Weedle, Drillba, Clefairy, Wilma, Time of the Magician, Reverse Holo Gogo, and a Lucario, guys. I am going to be going pretty fast through this because we have got quite a few packs to get through, guys. Um, and I can just ramble on sometimes as well. There's the code card for you, beautiful people. Watching, four from the back as per usual with Sword and Shield. And we start off with an Electric Energy. We've got Delmi's Weedle, Drillba, Wilma, Tynamo, the Magician. Ooh, a Reverse Holo Explode. Haven't had that before. And our first VMAX card, guys. Check that out. It is an Orbital VMAX. An Orbital. Look how cool that is, guys. A very nice card indeed. Beautiful. Wow. The Orbital VMAX we have already pulled before in a previous video. Um, it was in uh, the video where I was still going through some boost packs that I got with my Builder Battle Kits. Um, but yeah, we've pulled that before. So, I mean, we'll take a swap because there's still a lot of stuff that we are missing from Vivid Voltage. I mean, we haven't opened many packs yet. The set just came out officially today as well. Um, so we'll definitely take couple of duplicates on the VMAX. I mean, if I had a choice, you know I'd go for the Pikachu or some of the secret rares. Why is this? I'm so bad at opening packs by hand, guys. Honestly, that's why I actually do prefer opening with scissors. But, um, yeah, just for speed, I'm going with hand opening for now. But, um, yeah, we've already got the Orbital VMAX. We got it in a previous video. Um, but as I was saying, I would take... Oh! Oh my god, where did that come from? Oh, we have got a secret rare obstacle, guys, from our Elite Trader box. Look at that card. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Check that out. Let's get this sleeved. <laughs> Check that out, guys. It's such a nice card. It's shiny Obstagoon. It's gold. I mean, wow. Do you know what the centering is? What's the centering like? The centering is really good. It's really, really good, guys. Wow. Back as well. 
really good. Wow, look at that card, guys. I didn't think I was going to be pulling this so soon. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that card. What a beauty. Very nice. Very happy with that, guys. Can't believe we pulled that with the ETB. We will take that. So happy with that. You know what? I, I, I need a, I need some uh, pack opening lessons, man. Generally need some pack opening lessons with my hands. Although, in my previous Champions Path videos, um, I have been doing a whole lot of complaining at how flimsy the packs are. And now, that's a very cool Lycan Rock as well. Check that out. That is a very cool card. I wonder if you can get that in Hollow. But sorry, as I was saying, uh, in my Champions Path videos, I have been uh, doing a whole lot of complaining that the packs aren't... Um, you know what, I'm going to go with scissors. Honestly, it's just... It's just so much easier. Look at that. Look how fast... It, look how much faster that is. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, in my Champions Path videos, I've been doing a lot of compl bleh, complaining at how flimsy the packs were. And now the packs aren't that flimsy in this one. And I'm complaining about that too. <laughs> Let me say cop. Next one. We have... Code card for you guys. Hmm. I'm still on to the ETB here as well. So stoked that I got that. Obstagoon. Ooh, electrode. It's a constipated electrode by the looks of it. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> and an Orbital V. We don't actually have this one, I don't think. Very cool. We will take that. Got the VMAX and the V version of this card now, guys. Very nice. And we're moving on to the last pack of the Elite Trainer Box before we move on to the Booster Box. And you know what? I'm happy with that Elite Trainer Box. I'm not sure what the rates are like in terms of pulls at the moment. But we got a secret rare out of that Elite Trainer Box. So very happy with that indeed. Garbador as the last card. Alright guys, so we're moving on to these. Thought I was going to yank the whole thing out there. <laughs> right, we're moving on to the uh, booster box now. Just going to fly through this, hoping that we can continue this streak of luck that we've got with a VMAX, a V, and a secret rare Obstagoon, which is very cool. So happy with that. Um, and so far, We've got three amazing rares in the whole collection, guys. Come on. You know what? I'm doing such a bad job opening these cards, uh, these booster packs at the moment. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm not usually this bad for you new viewers, I promise. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, we've got three amazing rares so far in our collection. Ooh, a hollow Waylord. Very cool. I like that. But yeah, we've got... Three amazing rares already. Um, there are six in total. There's a Celebi, a Rayquaza, and a Raikou, which is the ones that we've got already. And then what we still need to find is the Jirachi, Samazenta, and Zeshian. I'm hoping we can get them added to our collection today as well. It would be really cool. Because the amazing rares are really, really nice. Um, it is a new type of card introduced in this uh, Vivid Voltage set. I believe um, they were, well, they were in the Vault Tackle set. They were in a Legendary Harpy as well, which is, I think is it, is it Chinese set that? The Legendary Harpy one, I'm not entirely sure, but I have seen them around as well. Um, but yeah, it's the first time release in the UK and it's so cool. Uh, the Rayquaza is probably my, whoa, an Orbital VMAX, another one. So we've got two swaps of these now, guys. But yeah, as I was saying, the, um, the Rayquaza Amazing Rare is probably my favourite one, um, which is quite cool because I have got two of them, so happy with that, um, but definitely want the others added to my collection. I am going to be sending them for grading as and when I do get them because they're really, really cool. Oh, that's a very nice hollow as well. I like that. I like the artwork on that. I am loving this. Vivid Voltage. 
um, set, yeah, Aurelion. Yeah, it's a code card for you guys. Telescopic sight. Raiolu, love Raiolu. Reverse holo, Jura, Fara, 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 and a two cannon. But yeah, this uh, this set is certainly, um, well, it's certainly much better than Champion's Path. I mean, Champion's Path, as a whole, the set isn't really all that. I mean, what makes a set is those chase cards, which is Charizard and Charizard VMAX, but this set, um, although Champion's Path was a holiday set, so that's probably the reason why, but I mean, this set is really nice. I am enjoying the artwork of the majority of these cards, for example, this one as well. I really am liking the hollows here. Um, and the cards in general, a lot of the cards just, they just look funny and they just look cool at the same time as well. Um, I mean, Charmander looks happy as uh, the constipated electrode there, which is quite funny as well. Shuppet looks, looks lost in his um, card. I mean, it's just a really cool set. Actually, is that our first Charmeleon? Well, that is the first Charmeleon I've pulled and it looks really cool, man. Check that out. Wow. It, you know, just goes ashore, like as I was saying, it's just some really cool... Looks like a clear doll. Is it meant to be a clear doll? I'm not really sure. Oshawott, looking very surprised. Um, reverse of Galarian Stunfisk and a Drapion V, guys. Another one added to our collection. We will take that. Beautiful. So yeah, the booster box so far hasn't gave us an amazing rare like the elite trainer box reward does with but i mean we have got a v max that we already have the or beetle and we have also got a v card as well in the drapion 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 how do you guys pronounce it um but yeah so far not amazing luck when i say amazing luck i am hinting at a secret rare and an amazing rare as well um but yeah i mean we've only just pretty much started through this booster box so i'm hoping we are still yet to find something very very juicy guys i'm hoping we can do it get some really good pulls man imagine if we got a pikachu v max the secret rare though I mean, a VMAX itself would be cool, but I'm also off that secret rare. I mean, it's a chase card and it looks so cool, man. Two cannon. You see what I've done there? I still yanked the two cannon, hoping that there was another card there. That's how disappointed that last pack was. <laughs> right. Card card for you beautiful people. What have we got up next? We have got an electric energy to start off with. And the rest of them... My neck trick. First time I'm seeing that as well. Looks really good. You know what? Looks like the flash with all the electricity coming out of him. I'm sure he's not that fast as the flash, but I mean, it just reminds me of him. Uh, still a cool guy nonetheless. If only it was hollow, right? <laughs> Code card, guys. And we start off with Fighting Energy. A Jurafa Rafa Rafa Rig. And look, there's a Charmander. I was talking about, look how happy is that? Has got to be the happiest Charmander you will ever see. An amazed whooper. Whoop! Yeah, Cottony, a Rakuda, a Reverse Hollow Electros, and a Duraludon Hollow. A very cool card indeed. I do like that. And we move on to the next pack. Still, still waiting for an amazing rare out of a whole opening. Um, but we're also just waiting for a secret rare from this booster box. So far, it has been pretty underwhelming. Um, I'm hoping that can change. Because we're still not even halfway through this booster box yet. Um, so I'm hoping it is, it's, it's teasing us and it's saving the best to last. But we will see. Not looking good so far. But we've still got over halfway to go. So let's hope we can pull something cool. See? Here, the Shuppet I was looking at. The lost Shuppet. Look how lost that Shuppet looks. <laughs> An angry Chewel. <laughs> and then Edgy slash Eggy. Eggy or Edgy? You know, I'm going to go with Eggy because it sounds funnier. 
Um, an Eggy Slash VMAX, a very cool card. We have already got this one as well. We opened it um, when we first... I think we opened it in our first Vivid Voltage video um, when we were opening the pre-release Build the Battle kits. Um, check that out if you haven't already, guys, because those pre-release kits came with the promo cards, the Charizard, Snorlax, or the other one, Lugia, and... John Fun. We didn't get the Snorlax, but we did get the rest of them, which are really cool. Ooh, first Hollow Dialga and a Terrakion. Very cool. Funny that was hollow as well. It might be hollow. I just might not have had it in the hollow, but you know, I'm seeing a lot of cards here and I'm like, oh, I wish that was hollow. Like the Manectric would have looked cool as a hollow Terrakion as well, but it might be, not sure. We'll see. Cocoon it and Moo Moo Cheese. Looks very funny indeed. And a Talon Flame V, guys. It is our first V. Do you know what? That is a very nice V card. I love the artwork on that. Look at the flames. Very cool as well. The full art version of this card is even cooler. Um, I mean, if we pull that out, I'll show you it. But yeah. Hope I can get the full art version, guys. You guys know how much I adore full arts. They're just so cool, man. So cool. There's a cord card for you guys. And we start off with Psychic Energy. And are we going to get something good in this one? No, but it's a cool looking beadrill as well. A badass looking beadrill actually. Look at that. Check that out. It's actually the first time I've seen a beadrill so badass, in my opinion anyway. If you guys have seen a more badass beadrill, please let me know in the comments. <laughs> I definitely want to see a more badass beadrill than that. <laughs> Alistair, Clefairy, what else are we looking at here? Ooh, a Togekiss V, guys. Another V card, very nice. A very happy Togekiss. Togekiss does come across as a very happy Pokemon anyway. It suits it. Really, really does suit it. Oh, packs flying everywhere there, guys. We move on to the next pack, guys. Still no amazing rares of the video. Um... We did get a secret rare Obstagoon. But no secret rares in this booster box so far. So at the moment, this booster box has been pretty underwhelming in my opinion. I'm hoping things can change as we move on to the more latter part of this booster box. Um, and onto the latter packs. Still got quite a few remaining. I can't exactly count how much and do this at the same time because I'm really, really bad at multitasking, but we have still got quite a few left. Booster box is about to be knocked over as well. Right, fire energy, come on. Give us a good one here. Oh, yes! That's what we're talking about, guys. A Celebi Amazing Rare. Very nice. The artwork on the Amazing Rares are so cool. I mean, you've got all the information in Holofoil there as well. All of the energies in Holofoil, all of the statistics there in Holofoil and the Amazing Rare logo there. Very cool. Look at that. What a beautiful card indeed. And the last one is an executor that no one cares about. Although I say that, I have mentioned when I pulled this card last time in my previous video, the artwork was really cool. It was really cartoony. Um... So, I take that back. No one but me cares about that executor. Um, but we have just pulled our very first Amazing Rare. It is a Celebi. Um, it is our third Celebi as well. So, we have already got that one. But it is an Amazing Rare nonetheless. And we will take it. We will take as many Amazing Rares as we can. Because I have heard that these... Ooh, ooh check that out. The Shaman Hollow. Looks very cool as well. This is our first card of this. Very nice. Love that. But yeah, as I was saying, guys, um, we'll take as many Amazing Rares as we can because I have heard rumours that Amazing Rares are probably going to be extinct, possibly, unless the rumours I heard were false. But after Shiny Star V, um, which we're going to have a couple of Amazing Rares in there, the Amazing Rares are going to stop. Oh, Steelix V. Well, no, okay. That is the Terminator right there. He's got a, he's got a Shining Tooth there. And it should be gold release. Because he's a gangster. 
but he's also got a shine in his eye as well there. Look at that, Terminator. It is a very angry terminator -y Steelix indeed. Very cool card. Look at the shine in the eye, just like a cyborg Terminator ready to kill. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying guys, yeah, there have been rumors that um, the Amazing Rares will stop after Shiny Star V, but it's just what I read and what I've heard. I'm not sure if it's 100% confirmed yet, but I mean, if it is true, then yeah, I'd ideally like to get as many amazing rares as I possibly can. Um, the amazing rares in Shiny Star V, I think that's about three, maybe a couple more, but the ones I know about at the moment um, is a Reshiram and a Kyogre. I can't remember what the other one was for the life of me. Ooh, Grap Locked. Very cool. I love the full art version of Grap Locked in the Champion's Path set. It's a very cool card. And it is, yes, a full art, which is my favourite type of card from the Pokemon stuff because the full art is just so cool. And the next pack is... Is it going to be something cool? Because honestly, apart from the Amazing Rare, this... Booster box has been pretty underwhelming so far compared to the ETB that we got. It, you know, oh yes, 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 yes. Ask and you shall get. We got an amazing rare, and it is a Jirachi amazing rare, which is an addition to our collection. Yes, check that out, guys. Very amazing indeed. Look at that. What a cool card indeed. Wow, a lot of people actually like Jirachi as a favorite amazing rare card um and i can see why it is such a nice card look at it um i'm pretty sure it's pretty handy in pvp as well uh well i say pvp player versus player <laughs> but i only call it that because i don't really play the actual card game myself but i think the ability that makes this card is a dream of revelation once per turn you can look at your two cards at the top of your deck and put one of them in your hand that is just really cool and a very powerful card and um, gives you lots of options to play with um during gameplay so yeah uh not only an amazing rare beautiful looking card but very very strong contender uh, to be in tcg decks as well and the final card is the badass looking beadroll that no one cares about right now because we got this bad boy very nice happy with that Super happy with that. Two amazing rares from the booster box so far. Still waiting for a, you know, a secret rare or a full art from this booster box. I mean, it would be so cool if we could get that. Um, I mean, getting a booster box just for two amazing rares, it's not really that worth it in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think, but I think I might be being a bit greedy, but I want a secret rare. I want a rainbow or, or something. Um, I think, you know what, honestly, I think I'm only saying that because I pulled it out of an ETB which only had eight packs in it. <laughs> That's why this booster box is looking so much more underwhelming as it is. But I have been seeing people open, opening booster boxes and they've been getting much better look than what I'm getting here. Um, much better look. Uh, I'm talking, you know, Pikachu, V Maxes, uh, Secret Rares, Amazing Rares. Um, it's funny as well because in all the booster box openings I've been seeing before I received this one. Um, it seems that everybody's getting at least two amazing rares per booster box. So it could be that each booster box does guarantee two amazing rares. Because, I mean, we've just pulled two amazing rares as well. A very nice Zapdos card, by the way. I really like that Zapdos card. But yeah, guys, as I was saying, it could be that a booster box does guarantee two amazing rares. Because we've just pulled a Celebi and a Jirachi. Um... So yeah, but yeah, at the moment, um, it's been pretty underwhelming if it's just those two amazing rares that we're getting. I mean, I would like another secret rare. Um, it would be so cool. But oh, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> ask and you shall get, guys. Ask and you shall get. We have got another secret rare, Obstagoon. Wow, I've literally just said as well, I would like another secret rare. And look at that card. Do you know what? It's such a nice card. I mean, the only thing that would have probably topped this poll right here, right now, would have been the chase card, which is the rainbow rare Pikachu, or the other gold 
uh, Pokemon card in the deck, which is the Orang the Orangaroo, Orangaroo, um, which does look like, as I previously mentioned at the start of this video, King Louie um, from the Jungle Book. Um, but wow, very happy with that. It, you know, you know what I mean. I can use it as a trade. The centering is really, really good on this as well. I mean, wow, two of these. I can definitely use this as a as a leverage for a trade or something. Um, happy with that. Okay, so I retract what I was saying about the booster box. Um, saying that was underwhelming so far. I mean, in the past five minutes, we've got uh, amazing rares, and we've also got. Um, the secret rare obstagon which it is our oh a full art drapion v yes a full art drapion v guys look at that our first full art oh wow it's so nice just look at that card wow oh man i love full arts i love full arts so much just look at that card look how cool that is wow 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 Um, but yeah, sorry, it looks like everything's coming in the latter packs, just as we said um, before, but uh, yeah, um, we've got two Obstagoon Golds, which I'm very happy we've got full art now as well, um, so this booster box is starting to shift into the not-so-underwhelming category, ooh, Pikachu V, another V card in Upward, we've all got this one, but it is a very cool card, I mean, look at it, very, very nice. And everybody loves a good Pikachu as well. But yeah, it seems that the latter packs of the booster box are bringing in the goods, finally. Do you know what? Do you know what would top this off? A Pikachu. A Pikachu secret rare would be amazing right now. That would probably be the best booster box ever if I got that. That would be insane. We've got two packs left. Do you think we can get it? in these two packs or maybe another secret rare or amazing rare as well i'll take that as well i'm not asking for much <laughs> but no i will take that um it'd be so cool guys you're gonna have to demolish that like button if oh first ooh, dropped it first time i've seen that card ninjask very cool do you know what? that works very nice well it's almost like it's crayon either word <laughs> but yes yeah, it's, it's, it's very cool i like that um but yeah if we get in this last pack Something juicy, guys, like a Pikachu Rainbow VMAX. I don't think we will, but if we do, you guys have to demolish that like button and subscribe button. <laughs> right, so for our final pack, Tynamo the Magician, we are looking at Reverse Hall Telescopic Sight and a Mudsdale, guys. All right, guys, and there we have it. That is the end of the video. There are the pulls. Do you know what? They're pretty good pulls. Um, I mean... From the Elite Trainer box, we got a, a V Max, we got a V, um, we got another V, and we got an Obstacle and Secret Rare as well, just from the Elite Trainer box. That's from eight packs. That's some crazy hit rates, guys. Um, and then the remainder of it, which was a two amazing rares, another gold Obstagoon, and the rest of the Vs and a full art V Max. Uh, sorry, a full art V and a V Max as well from a booster box. It's not too bad. I mean, the Elite Trainer box was definitely, definitely worth it. Out of eight packs, we got five hits. Um, the booster box, not as many hits, but we did get two amazing rares. One of them was the Jirachi that we needed, so I'm happy with that. And we got another Obstagoon secret rare as well, which is very cool indeed. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with my future videos. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.